Salty food that doesn't taste salty. Here's a weird one. You might be eating way more salt than you think, and it's sugar's fault. Yep, the same sweet little crystal that makes cupcakes taste like heaven is also helping sodium sneak into your diet wearing a candy disguise. Food scientists have a name for this culinary con trick. Taste musking. Basically, sugar acts like a smooth talker for your taste buds. It distracts your brain's salty alarm long enough for sodium to slip by unnoticed. Your tongue has taste receptors for sweet, salty, sour, bitter and umami. But these receptors don't work alone, they gossip. When sugar shows up, it triggers a cascade that dampens how strongly you perceive saltiness. So a product loaded with both sugar and sodium, like many breakfast cereals, condiments or sweet chili sauces, ends up tasting pleasantly balanced instead of, you know, like a salt block dipped in syrup. The food industry figured this out decades ago. Add a little sugar and suddenly you can pack in more salt without scaring off customers. That combo also makes you want more. Salt boosts appetite, sugar rewards your brain. It's a biological tag team designed for overindulgence. Think of something like honey, roasted peanuts or barbecue sauce. They taste sweet, right? But a single serving can pack as much sodium as a small bag of chips. You don't taste it because your taste buds are too busy high-fiving the sugar molecules. Ironically, sugar and salt use opposite chemistry to achieve the same goal, keep you coming back for more. Sugar floods your brain with dopamine. Salt keeps your cells craving hydration. Together they create that, I'll just have one more. Bite, black hole. So, next time you're spooning up some sweet and savoury magic, just know your taste buds are being played by a perfect pair of molecular con artists. Basically, sugar isn't just sweet, it's a salty little liar.